in all of that, we're forgetting that Brighton are flipping amazing and they deserve every single applaud that they are getting right now. Yeah. Uh, would you say that they've had the best transfer window? I'd say it's definitely out there for sure. They, they, I mean, they Number sell, one? Say, I would no. say, mate. mate. What? Oh, I've, well, we, we'll discuss we, it then. We'll inter- discuss it because we're going to do the top three and worst three transfer windows. Oh, I didn't see this on the prep sheet. Yeah, okay, like, well... But- me and Reeve are going to Yeah, do it. it's all right. I can, think, I can um, think. I can think. I actually have, I think you and I agree on this one, don't they? Don't we? I've Relatively. Got, I've got Brighton as the best transfer yeah, window. I've got first. And here's why. Because of the money they've clawed in. They've sold, yeah. what, 200 mil? They've sold, they sold Caicedo for 116, McAllister for 42, and Sanchez for 23. Good and point. And their incomings seem to be turning out very well. Like even, okay, even James Milner on a free. Yeah. He's, he's playing quality. Yeah. And Su Fatty on a loan. Yeah, I forgot we, about Fatty. Yeah. Jao Pedro seems good. Yeah. Uh, their goalkeeper, Verbruggen. Yeah. Very, very well. Um, oh, yeah, he's class. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, the Hood from Dortmund. Yeah. they Another And ball. also, I also just trust their signings because they don't yeah. really get signings wrong. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, inevitably, they'll just sell all these players for 100 million in two years. That's but, true. Yeah. I think genuinely, Brighton. They're my number one for me. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I've got them second. They're just the goats. Uh, second for me, I've got Man City. Is that it? it pains me to say it. Yeah, I've got Man City. You know, we're all thought, oh, they're getting rid of Gundogan. They're letting go a few players. Do you know what I mean? But they've just... But they also all are, they are helped by the fact that they have an unlimited budget. Yeah. Today's clip is brought to you by friends over at Super 6, and they are back after the international break with a massive 250 grand jackpot up for grabs. Now, if you don't know what it is, where have you been? It's a football prediction game, which is completely free to play. All you have to do is correctly predict the scores of six Premier League games each week, and you can win a quarter of a million Pound. You can also compete against myself, Tom, and Reeve in the pitch side Super 6 Mini League, the biggest in the world, by using the code PTCH23 to join. Also, we'll be giving away a £100 classic football shirt voucher to the person who comes top of the pitch side Mini League. All you have to do is enter before the round begins to be eligible. Once you're in, it's super easy to play. Simply predict your six scores, do your golden goal, and hit submit. You're all set at winning a free shot of 250 thousand pound use the link in the description down below to sign up now remember as i said it's a free shot at two hundred fifty thousand pounds so you may as well get involved follow the link in the description down below to sign up now um so that the, the transfers in gvardio matthias nunez doku kovacic yeah i mean that is just a joke really and also getting rid of cole palmer for 40 plus million yeah. pounds <laughs> yeah. is mental i didn't realize it was that much 40 know. mil for cole palmer say, and, and, and there's like five appearances in the premier league but mm. also one that I didn't know, because obviously I wasn't here on the transfer day, uh, deadline day. I was travelling, so I missed everything. Matthias Nunes signed for Man City. I just, yeah. Yeah, I know. Oh. I just, yeah. 53 million. Pep called him one of the best players in the world last season. Yeah, yeah he did. When he was at um, he really Spartan, was it? Him, yeah, he really, really writes him. I think he'll suit City system as well. Did uh, Dorku look good when he, when he played for them? He played a bit defensively. I've only seen the goal. Yeah, he played quite defensively, mm. which was quite interesting. I guess it was just how... All yeah. I know is Oscar Bob made his Prem debut and he is him. He is him. You were very happy with that. And uh, third for me... Oh, you've got Man City second, sorry. Yeah, Man City second. Third for me, I've got West Ham. Oh, that's a great shout, you know. Yeah, because everyone thought they're going to lose Declan Rice and they could easily do a Spurs and spunk like the Gareth Bale money and, yeah. and not 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 get the correct players in. And, and they... you. Evident by their um, performances this season that those players they've got in are perfect to how West Ham want to play. James Ward-Prowse, sensational. Alvarez looks quality. Mm-hmm. Um, Kudus. Good signing. Very good signing. Uh, Mavropanos. I don't even know that. Either. Yeah, not really seen much. But I would have liked West Ham maybe to get more us, strength at the back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like possibly a striker. But even though they've only made like three or four big signings, uh, or maybe three big signings, um, they've had, a, mid- the right they've had a midfield overhaul, which is what yeah, they needed. They've, yeah. they've signed the right players, and it's similar to actually Spurs, how we thought without Kane they might crumble, without Declan Rice, West Ham might crumble, but they seem to be doing very well. Well, yeah, I mean, re- really, silly, you should the if, you, DNA if you actually of... if you sell a player like Rice, who's so obviously so influential, you should be able to replace him with three players. You should, yeah, but it's easier said than done. A hundred percent. Loads of clubs get it wrong. Spurs yeah. did with the bail money and stuff like that, but. Yeah, they they should be getting it right. I did. For, oh yeah, they're not in my third. My, Who's your third? My num- my number three is Aston Villa. Oh, I got Villa third. Tielemans, Torres, 
Longley, Diaby, Diaby Zaniolo. Diaby who hasn't actually played yet, I don't mm. think, but obviously he's a, he's a proper baller from Roma. And, uh, and yeah. he sold Cameron Archer for like 21 million yeah. pounds. Like, that's he's ridiculous. never even played in the Premier League. No. He's, he's, he's not don't started, he, I don't Yeah, think. he's not got a Premier started. appearance. But also, they've only spent... Well, how much was Diaby? Diaby's 50 mil. Yeah, something um, like that. Well, they spent 80 million and a lot, a lot, most of their players are loans and frees. Yeah, it's yeah. decent. Yeah. And they've got good 20 business. back for Archer. Yeah. yeah. But they're not... Well, yeah, anyways. And they look good. They've just yeah. strengthened positions that they needed to, really. Mm -hmm. When you think their centre-back rotation now, even with Mings out, it's like Longley, Torres, Diego Carlos, Conza. Mings out, but still, that's a lot of centre. Like, that's good depth. What's yours, Tom? I've got Villa third, uh, West Ham second, and City first. No, but you've explained no, it well with Brighton. No but for Brighton. I just think, I don't know. They have still lost arguably the two two of their best players. Do you know who? Do, but, but, do, but, Gilly, but, Gilly, Billy, Billy Gilmore oh, did look unreal. Billy weekend, Gilmore yeah. stepping up, isn't it? Do you he? know who I was going to put in them, but just because of their performances, I can't. It's Chelsea. Uh, they went nuts in the transfer window. I know, but have they but, gone too too nuts? They've spent a lot of money again and they look shit. Billion and a half, isn't it, since Bowley's come in? Mm. It's just, and I want to say a billion shout, and a half? I think it is, like, or no. just over a billion. I was going to say, it won't be 1.5 um, bill. It's over a billion, that's for shower. I Liverpool think, have had a good transfer window, I thought. Yeah. With Gravenberch oh, signing. They still Spurs. need a DM, though, don't they? Gravenberch? He's not really, though, is he? They need an actual sitter. Yeah, he's, he's not a proper sitter. Uh, United United isn't that bad either with Amrabat yeah, coming I've, in I yeah, think, I think United have had a good window yeah Arsenal yeah. shame about Timber's injury that's really that's, a, that's, that's so peak but yeah. that, the, the problem I have with that is that shouldn't that affect was, that was a, a, so early that we had time to rectify and get somebody else in we just didn't bother mm. Mm, and you then still let, got Tommy Asu why yeah but yeah. then let Holding go yeah. to Palace yeah but that's part of the depth that we had it's even though he's not great fucking but... dog shit <laughs> Right, that, we, you said you said Saliba out wasn't influential to our title charge. No, I didn't. Because Rob no. Holding came in, but now you've just said Rob, Rob Holding's dog shit. say so. wasn't oh. influential. Is he that impactful or is he not? I said... <laughs> no, not another comment another on that. One. Not another one. Shit. What I said was that didn't. That wasn't the reason you lost the title because Saliba was injured. It's hugely definitely, influential. It definitely impacted you, yes. You think Saliba not... I could have played at centre-half and you should have beat West Ham and Southampton. So, yeah, but you're saying as if like our best defender Sorry, what? doesn't play, we should still... That's not always You should case, still though. beat Southampton and West Ham, yes? Yeah, he's right. <laughs> Am I going mental later or what? Yeah, no, but if he plays, it's a different story. That's what I'm trying to say. No, I don't the, think, the, the, the tipping scale But, what, but watching those games, I don't think would have mattered with him in or out. I disagree. Okay. <laughs> um, speaking of the best, to the worst, I've got Luton, Sheffield United and Wolves. I've got I don't think, oh. I've got Wolves, Everton, Sheffield United. Oh, Everton. I've got Fulham, Luton and Sheffield United. Wolves have signed like Matt Doherty and that's pretty much it. No, they've got a few in on the last day, didn't they? Tommy Doyle's coming from City. He's decent. Oh, really? um, other than that, yeah. They've, but signed, they've, signed, um, they've signed another player called Bueno, I think. I don't know who he is. Kinder but, Bueno. But they've already got that left back called Bueno. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Hugo. Too many Buenos. Unless it's the same player and they've actually signed him. I don't really know. Um, Luton, though. <laughs> Yeah, Luton are signing though, players for next year, aren't they? Yeah, if they're next is, year in the championship, that's what, yes. that's what it means. Yeah, if their aim is to stay in the Premier League, they haven't done business. Correctly. They just haven't got the money to do it. Yeah. yeah, they spent all their money on the stadium. Yes, to upgrade the oak stands to the Domino's oak stand. <laughs> <laughs> like they've signed Chong from Bur from Blues, who like he's just is Ross a championship Barkley. player. Yeah, uh, Giles from the Wolves as well. He's a good championship. Chong was so poor, by the way. Huh? He was so poor. What Friday? Mm. I didn't see the game. It was it Giles? Giles. You thought Giles was bad? I thought he was the only. Chong. Oh, Chong. Chong. Yeah, Has Giles, it, Giles was their only. Oh, this is the only game this weekend no. I've seen nothing. Has Lukonga signed for Luton on loan? Is it Luton on loan? Who's did Lukonga go to? Lukonga? Yeah. I think you're right. Sambi Lukonga? No, do you mean Nakamba? No, I mean Lukonga. Nakamba's definitely Luton. Yeah, Nakamba signed for them. Um, Who's Lukonga? Is it Luton? I haven't seen Lukonga go to Luton. Uh, I'll have a look. Yeah, he's at Luton, Lorne. Yeah. Mm. See? Is he? Yeah, catch up, mate. I see, I see, I was going to put Everton in my bottom three, but I just think Beto's actually a really good pickup. Yeah, he looks good, doesn't he, Beto? I think he's really good. I Strong, think he's good enough. Holds to, the ball up well, yeah. fast. I don't know. He's only going to get better on better. Do you not see his against Chef United? I watched the second half, but. I thought he was really good. 
Yeah, he did look good. Like, I saw a stat as well that he, he took like seven successful dribbles and he's like six foot six as well, which just shows you yeah. just the technicality he has. Could be, could be the answer for their goals. Um, and he obviously did score on the weekend as well. 